Here's a quick Thaddeus update for everybody. After Thaddeus had been home for a few days, he got to meet one of our amazing adopters who actually came and volunteered her time to give him a much needed haircut. Since he was locked in that stall for so long and the stall was never cleaned out, he had a lot of mats in his hair from the mud and feces that he would have to lay in regularly. So our handsome boy got a new haircut and he looks like a completely new horse. After his much needed haircut appointment, he was really excited to be able to lay down and actually enjoy himself. He does come out of his stall for a few hours out of the day to get some exercise, have some wound cleaning done on his back, and to soak his hoof in this wonderful hoof soaking boot that a Michelle Miller donated in to us. He loves watching other horses. Yesterday evening, Daddy has sadly passed away. Daddy has had given us his absolute all. He fought so hard for himself and for us. Daddy was in his field grazing. He had laid down like he always does, but after he did not try to get up, 45 minutes later, I realized something wasn't right. So we immediately started calling vets to get someone out there to check on him. Almost all vets were out on emergency calls at the time. So while we waited for one to call us back, we continued to try to get him up. Sadly, with no luck, he was still very much so alert and eating and drinking. We hoped if we could ever get him on his feet, he would be good. One of our main vets made out in record timing. All of his vitals were good. Heart and lungs were all stable. His temperature was a little elevated, but that was expected from us trying to get him to stand. She was quickly on the phone with his main vets talking about our options. They told us the best thing we could do was get him loaded and get him up to the clinic where they could put him into a sling. We weren't able to get the equine ambulance to our rescue until the next morning. So for the night, I did stay out in the field with him and continued to care for him. That morning, the equine ambulance did arrive. This allowed us to load him without making him stand or causing stress. We were able to put him onto a stretcher and then used a winch to be able to pull him into the trailer with ease. We made it to the hospital in record timing where a whole team of vets was waiting for his arrival. They immediately started working on him, giving him many fluids and hypertonic saline to get him stabilized enough to move him into the sling that was waiting on him. We then had to move him from the ambulance while he was still on the stretcher. There were over 10 people helping transport him from the back of the ambulance trailer to the ICU stall. Sadly, as soon as we made it to the stall, Thaddeus's heart stopped. Many rescue attempts were performed by the vets to restart his heart, but the hard decision was made to let him go and finally be at peace. Once our vets were able to do a closer inspection of his teeth, we found that the age guess was off. Thaddeus was actually into his 30s. Final video is posted now. Thaddeus passed away, very comfortable, and in no pain whatsoever. 
He was surrounded by people that loved and cared for him deeply. He was able to know that he was loved and cared for. He got to spend his last few weeks comfortable in open fields and receiving all the care we could give him. I'm so sorry. We did everything we could to give him a life that he deserved. And we gave him all the care that we possibly could give him. He knew that he was loved all the way up until the very last moment he was here. I'm so sorry. He did not pass away alone, in pain, or locked away in a filthy stall he had been stuck in for over 10 years. He knew he was finally safe and was comfortable enough to know that he could go whenever he was ready and he didn't have to fight anymore. We are a rescue that takes on the cases that we know could end badly, but we do it because we want them to be loved and we want to give them every single chance we could possibly offer. Thaddeus will never be forgotten here. We will continue to rescue horses like him in his honor. He will be forever missed and loved. Thank you.